Welcome to wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen, as the Hollywood hit song has it. The city of happiness, Huga and Hans Christian Andersen. Actually, a, a land of magical fairy tales is a pretty fitting place to talk about imagination and bold new journeys. In this increasingly intelligent era, one of Southeast Asia's largest telecom operators, Indosat Urdu Hutchison, is kind of writing its own story. One in which the vast networks and powerful AI are connecting cities and the thousands of remote islands of Indonesia. So really it's smart strategy and strong partnerships, not fairy tale magic, that's driving this modern day transformation. IOH's Chief Technology Officer Desmond Chung was here in Copenhagen for a Huawei Operations Transformation Forum and he told me a bit about the company and their vision and strategy. Our vision is very clear, Kevin, is to become the most preferred digital telco in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And our mission is to deliver world-class digital experiences that connect and empower every Indonesian. Our transformation is anchored in our so-called AI North Star strategy, which place people at the center of this innovation. Mm. This strategy built on three pillars. Number one, we call AI Native Telco. This is our own company. Every single layer, every people, they need to use AI. They will use AI to help them to do a better job for customer experience. Second, by building our capability with AI, not only for our consumer, but also to the B2B business in Indonesia. So our second pillar, we call it AI Tackle. This is to provide AI capability to entire Indonesian business users. Mm -hmm. So AI is so near. How can we make sure no one's left behind and every people can use AI? So we have the third pillar. We call it AI Nation Shaper. This is to develop the talent for entire Indonesia. We're working with government. Mm -hmm. So we have the, um, we call it center excellence for AI. So we can train millions of people with our partner. So it's the power of partnership and you've got a lot of pillars there you're talking about. Clear vision, goals, so what challenges did you have to overcome during that journey and how did you do so? It's number one, it's about the scale. Mm. Because we are talking about 100 million users in our network. So, you know, also Indonesia is a big country. A lot of islands, very disparate. Yeah. Exactly. But more than that, I don't know if you are aware of this. We have three different time zones. It's so big. <laughs> right. You travel from the east to the west, three hours. Yeah three hour time zones, three different time zones. The infrastructure that they're building, and it's a lot of challenge so unique to Indonesia. Mm. Electricity, and it's not that stable. Fiber, how we connect all the island together. All this capacity mixed together with the users of all these people working on this customer experience to address this challenge. Mm. So we work with Huawei. We develop, uh, we call, Digital Intelligence Operations Center. I put it this way, this is the center, like our nerve system, so that we can detect any problem. We can work on every single issue that customer face. And we can't do it easily by our own people, manually. It's not possible because of scale. So we have the AI, we build AI capability, so that to allow us to every single function we have recently mm. working on the so-called AI agent, co-pilot, to help our people, they can work in a much better way to resolve problems much quicker. And along the way then, you must have come up with a lot of best practices, um, and how will that benefit IOH, those cases that you've learned and produced, the benefits back to the company? So our most impactful practice is to put customer experience at the center. Mm -hmm. And with what we're supporting, we are able to implement, we call AI-driven automation. And this is to our O&M processes, 
allowing us to consolidate network and entity equipment information. And very important, we are not doing case, you know, use case, but we build the foundation, mm -hmm. we call the data platform. By building the data platform, we can scale up. Yep. If you don't build a data platform, you can't scale up. You can mm. do it silo, it's silo. It's core foundation. Exactly. Mm. We're able to reduce 50% network downtime and 30% reduction of customer complaints, 70% improvement in network throughput, and 50% latency reduction. This is huge. It's important for mm. what? OTT. Games, mm. <laughs> latency, you need a super low latency. And we'll be able Our to achieve- Our kids will be very happy about that. Thank you so much. I, uh, I, I hope that they, they come to Indonesia, they will enjoy the game. By the way, we were ranked number two in the whole world mm. on the game experience. We are so proud of it because you are able to use AI mm -hmm. to achieve this result. So all this customer experience actually translate to the business result. Let me share with you some business result. Our EBITDA margin, EBITDA and output were with double digit growth. And we've been able to increase 23.4% increase in our multimedia data communications mm -hmm. and we call the um, internet businesses. That, that's why I'm saying to you, we not only were serving our consumer market, but we serve the B2B. Yes. This is so, so that all business will be benefited by using AI. Mm -hmm. I think it's clearly the benefit to the customer as well as the company and to others. And obviously technology is being disrupted all the time, there's constant change. What do you think is the, the next point of disruption in telecoms and how is the company preparing for that? Very good question. I think the whole world in the last couple of years moving to AI. Mm -hmm. For us, we are a mobile company, certainly, but how we can use AI and benefit to, to customers. So we are combining, we believe in the future, AI and 5G together, mm -hmm. or even in the future of 6G or some other G. But first, let's focus on AI and 5G. We believe by doing this, they will be disruptive because this technology will allow um, a new wave of hyper-personalized services. Mm -hmm. Examples, you know, people, um, Every child may have a tutor, personal tutor, mm. everyone. Every uh, patient, they might have their, their AI doctor, AI nurse to serve individually. So for HIOH, we are expanding our network reach. Indonesia is quite unique compared to other countries. There are so many places they are not covered well. And we are in this journey to connect every single one in Indonesia. So by reaching this, and with all the AI, they will help them. Every farmer in the region, remote, uh, remote area, they will be able to see a lot of different things and able to sell their product to mm -hmm. so many different other people in the world. This AI will allow them to assess a whole different technology they never imagined, and they will help them to do a much better capability. So, in essence, our goal is not only just building AI for our own. Our objective is to build AI capability to deliver marvel experience for our customers and also B2B business users so that they can innovate for their business, for not only their business users, but also empower entire Indonesia for the future growth of Indonesia.